RabbitMQ is one of the most popular messaging queuing software or broker. It allows for asynchronous transfer of messages from producers to consumers, supporting most popular messaging protocols like AMQP, Stomp, etc. In this video, we will see how to install RabbitMQ on a Linux server, enable and access its management console, and create an admin user. Here, I have Ubuntu Linux running. First, running as a root, let us update our system using sudo apt-get update. RabbitMQ requires Erlang, so let us install it next by using sudo apt-get install Erlang. Yes, we want to install it. This might take a while. Next, let us install RabbitMQ server by typing sudo apt-get install rabbitmq-server. Yes, for installation. Let us now enable rabbitmq service by typing sudo systemctl enable rabbitmq-server. Let's now start it by typing sudo systemctl start rabbitmq-server. The management plugin provides a nice dashboard for RabbitMQ, which allows us to see queues, exchanges, etc. Let's enable it by using sudo rabbitmq-plugins enable rabbitmq underscore management. It's done. So now let's go and take a look at it. Open your browser and type HTTP localhost or your server name and then port 15672 for the management console. By default, it creates a username guest and password guest. And here is a nice UI which shows connections, channels, etc. Now you may want to create your own user and grant appropriate privileges to it. So let's add the admin user by typing rabbitmqctl, which is the command line control for rabbitmq, add underscore user, username admin, and password admin. Oh, we need to run it as root. So let me sudo and run the same command again. So the user is created. Next, let us set user tags for the admin to administrator. The set underscore user underscore tags command lets RabbitMQ know that this user is an administrator. Well, of course, we missed the RabbitMQ CTL in front. Let's try it again. Finally, let us set the permissions for this user by using sudo rabbitmqctl set underscore permissions hyphen p permissions on this machine indicating it with a slash and we give full permissions to configure, read and write on all resources on this machine. Okay, done. Let's get back to the management console, log out and log back in with our newly created user, admin admin and we can see the console again. Thanks for watching.